Well, no matter the sports or the news or the weather, we can always count on one bright spot on Mondays here on Daybreak. And today, Daybreak's Kate Welshover is entering some uncharted territory for this week's Festival Fest. Hey guys, this is the thing I do where I talk about things to do in Western New York. I do it on Mondays because Mondays aren't bad, but maybe your attitude needs work. I bring my desk chair for reasons that at this point just seem completely unimportant. This is Festival Fest. Today's episode is brought to you by this recent daybreak moment. Is there anything <laughs> a, a worse gift ever than a pumpkin spice candle? Let's find out. Today I'm showing you how to make your own pumpkin spice candle. While telling you all the better ways you could be spending your free time. Let's get into it. Here's what you'll need. First things first, we have to melt the wax. While I do that, don't tell Hamburg it's September because they're hosting their Oktoberfest September 15th. It's an authentic German festival with beer and food and music and dancing and a car show. What if you showed up and it was just all Volkswagens? Remember Farfignugan? I'm not entirely sure that this is correct. I'm throwing a crayon into the mix now um, because that's the direction say to do uh. and also to represent my lost childhood. I don't think this is gonna melt. You know who'd be great at this? The fine people at Granny's Booth Antiques and Country Gatherings. They're having their fall fest in Springville September 15th. Hey, by the way, Pumpkinville opens for its 50th season in Great Valley Saturday. The Great Pumpkin Farm Fall Festival is back for its 23rd year in Clarence. That starts Saturday as well. And the fall fun continues at both spots through Halloween. The Harvest Festival at Darien Lake is in its second weekend. It continues next weekend as well with special treats for the whole family. And by by that I mean there is a beer garden. Okay, all right. Ooh, <gasps> it's seasonal. Look it. All right, so you're supposed to add about a tea, oh, a teaspoon of the pumpkin spice, something like a teaspoon of cinnamon, also some nutmeg. I feel like maybe you can freestyle this portion. Oh. <laughs> this is my first time. This seems like the perfect time to tell you what's happening at Cockane Ski Resort. It is their Brewgrass Festival, September 14th and 15th, and also the Buffalo Cigar and Music Festival wafts into Orchard Park, September 15th. This is the perfect festival for people who like smoking and music and meat and smoked meat. And that's Festival Fest, the greatest thing to happen to Monday since the three-day weekend and the greatest thing to happen to crafting since the glue gun. I can't wait to set this thing on fire. <laughs> and there it is. You I did don't it. think we've ever had a glue gun or a candle on set before. We did it. It's burning, everyone. It worked. What's it smell like? <laughs> Not much. It's... <laughs> There are no hints of nutmeg. I think you should have pushed down a little more on the... Well, if you look at the bottom... It also looks like <laughs> peach. <laughs> wow. Supposed to stir in the spices, this apparently. Is my first a time. for effort, Miss Welshofer. <laughs> Thanks for joining Bye, us today. Bye, everybody.